What's up, everybody? Ted here, buddies from Wix. This is going to be a very, very quick one today. Um, uh, first and foremost, I want to apologize to anybody who had been um, following along and going with our Patreon. Uh, I mean, thank you so much for the support. I mean, it. You know, we were just asking for three dollars a month. That was it. You know, just to like help out with you know, electricity costs, and, you know, there were some other uh, subscriptions that I had uh, subscribed to, I guess you could say, primarily the, uh, the music thing, but I uh, had to get rid of that. Um, but uh, we're going to be revamping our, um, our Patreon, and uh, most of you know that at... Uh, We've been releasing NFTs lately, so it's we're gonna have to do something with that. Let's just say, and eventually, I I I can't promise it. Sorry, I'm moving this. I'm moving my webcam around. That's not a good thing. Um, I can't promise it just yet, but I do want to find uh, a way to get people at least four or five signals a week, at least. All right. Right now, I, I'm just posting them on my um, uh, uh, tr my trading view page. So, um, here, well, let's go over to my trading view page. Actually, so this was an idea I had from yesterday about Bitcoin. It says, uh, long between order blocks and rejection blocks. Oops, it wasn't supposed to move. There we go. Why is it being like that? Okay. <laughs> so basically what I was looking at was... Um, you know, you could see the previous day, whenever it jumped up really high. Back on the 6th, anyway. Boom, spiked up. A lot of people were probably thought it was going to get pulled down, so they were probably trying to sell it. Smart Money knew that. They were buying it, pushing it up. Two equal highs here. I saw the writing on the wall. There was a four hour fair value gap right here where this blue area is. Um, so, what did I say? I said, whenever it, it comes back, I mean, this would have been the ideal place, to be honest. Um, about halfway through that 15 minute um, uh, fair value gap. But um, instead, what we had is we had a rejection block. Um, and we also had a bullish order block as well. Um, and I think that was laying right, right on top of here. And I put in the median of it at 53.8054. Although you usually want to use the top, I use the middle of it because... It was basically there was two wicks that were um, breaking uh, the high plane of the um, down candle. So uh, if we just hit, this is going to be awesome. Whenever you just hit play, watch what happens. Boom! Right to where I said it was going to go. And really not much lower than where I said it was going to go. I'm, I'm, I mean, I know I'm a genius, guys. You guys don't have to tell me. But thank you. Thank you for for, for letting me know that I'm such a genius. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> All jokes aside. Um, no, Bitcoin was, has, has been interesting. Um and 
you know, it was probably around, no, it wasn't around this time. It was a little bit later than this time last year when it started to actually, like, build its run. Um, I think maybe around this time last year was when it, like, it broke, like, 13,000 or something like that. But um, as you can see, I did put, you know, there was an area that I was watching. Um, and I said price will reach back to this area, I promise. Um, and that was after it fell from here. And here it is. Not only did it reach that area, it came up to it, touched the top of the box, and then came back down. And then, yeah, way, way more than halfway through, boom, took off. Took off from this box, which is actually a breaker box. This is a breaker box. Or, a, you know, breaker block, I guess you could say. Um, and then it jumps to this one up here. What is this one? That is a... Well, if it would actually let me move it. It's a four-hour fair value gap is what it is. Oh, come on. This computer is being crazy right now. Oh, my God. Please stop it. Oh, sh I deleted it. There we go. Yeah, there it is. So, this greenish box here, above it, that is your four-hour fair value you get. That comes from way, 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 way back. Five, six months back, something like that, I want to say. Um, <clears throat> but that's the gap that it leaves. And also in the one-hour chart, it leaves a small little breaker. Um, and that's what that little uh, blue line is. And so what happens to the price? It gets all the way up. All right, so the to enclose this entire thing with the fair value gap, it would have had to have reached uh, 56,010. It got to 56,000. We missed it by $10, and that was it. So um, I was still holding on to it to see if it was going to, because what, what I saw happen was, you know, this bounce and then I saw this come down really far and then come back up and I was like oh I was like we, we you know it, it I thought that big stretch down into there was going to maybe create a little small gap but also rebalance it at the same time and then we'd see it you know sling back up uh, uh, over that uh, that zero line that I thought we were going to cross, which was 5610. Unfortunately, we never did. So, uh, once it closed on the 15 minute below that, um, that fair value gap box, I went ahead and took profit, didn't even wait, just said take profit as soon as possible if it doesn't close in this box. So, it didn't. So it took profit there, all right. Um, and now we're just looking at a couple different things, all right. So now here we have uh, the median hourly um, bullishness candle um, into the four-hour fair value gap. So if you're looking at this in the four-hour, basically, is what I'm saying. Mean hourly bullishness candle in the four hour. 
per value gap. I don't know. I really don't see a four hour fair value gap. What am I talking about? There's a four hour fair value gap there. I, I have no idea what this is. This is median, median hourly into four hour I don't I I have no idea the notes that I write myself sometimes but okay here we go hourly that makes sense that makes sense going into the four hour fair value gap I don't know if it's a four hour fair value gap looks more like a four hour um, uh, I don't know what the word is um, Consolidation, yeah, definitely. So now it's coming back down. It's coming back down. And where is it at right now? I don't know. Where is it? I can't see. You had to kid me. It's okay. So it's actually right. Right, it well, it got even with the 100. So it got even with everything that pushed it up. So it's rebalanced again. Which should shoot this thing to the moon. I mean, come on. If you're going to... I mean, like, I, I, I do understand... You know, especially with these huge bullish candles on the 15-minute hourly whatnot. Get all the way to that 5,600. And then come all the way back to 54. Uh, not all the way back, but still. Say I made the first entries here, second entry here, 